Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Saga of Darkness for Dream Drop Distance. Um, off screen I did do a little bit of leveling, did a little bit of uh, spirit farming. I am so close to being able to get a Rex. So close. The last two ingredients I need are actually in chests in this world. Um, I can technically go and get them um, without doing this. But they're so hard to do, and so it's so time-consuming. I decided, you know what, fuck it, let's just do this world and get it over with. So yeah. That's kind of what we're doing. Oh boy, go through it. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, so this this gets, this is kind of fucked with me. I already have bad, horrible. I already have horrible death perception. Now throw in the you know, flashing colors. And I'm just like, uh, no. Come on. Oh shit! I had to go to the yellow one. That's right. No, I don't. No, I don't. Here we go. Rings yeah. open. Here we go. Yeah. Get out of here. Faster. Yeah, I, don't I got the red. I got the uh, A. I did. I did go back and get the A on the other map though. Oh, got it. Fleeting fantasy. Nice. So there's a good chance I'm going I'm gonna get a copyright claim on this map, this world. So I may actually talk over some cutscenes a little bit. Um it's Fantasia, so <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Is this... Am I back at Master Yensid's tower? Something seems off. King Mickey! Huh? Is this what's troubling him? All right. Gosh, Gosh is huh? that a keyblade? Who are you an apprentice to? I'm Mickey, the sorcerer's apprentice. Oh, oh. Apprentice? Wait, am I in some world where the king was still in training? So, does that mean this world is sleeping? What's, What's wrong? wrong? What? Oh, uh, I'm Sora, the, uh, apprentice of, um... Hey, listen, your magic... Uh, I gotta stop that. Mickey, what can I do to save you? Thank, Thank you, you, Sora, Sora. But, it's but it's no, no use. use. A, monster's A monster's possessed that music, that music. And, he's and he's releasing darkness, darkness that stops anybody from going in there to fight him. him. To dispel yeah. the darkness, yeah. we need a sound idea. It's that dream eater I let escape. Okay, where do I get a sound idea? What? what? You'll, You'll find, find one, one for me? me? Of course. Thank, Thank you. you. It's not every day I get to do a favor for the king. Huh? huh? Did, Did you, you say, say something? something? Oh, nothing. Long story. So what exactly is a sound idea? Hmm. hmm. Inside this musical score should be a power that can sweep away any darkness. 
but you gotta be careful. In between those clefts and notes are monsters. Not as strong as the big one, but still pretty strong. Got it. I love that Mickey has to send him out to get a sound idea. Sora. So, from what I remember of uh, Fantasia, the fun little side note, um, Fantasia was a originally a way to show that cartoons can be art. Um, before Fantasia, before all that, it was always just cartoons, were just kids' things, you know, stuff you play in between uh, during the uh, interlude during uh, movies. That was a thing. Um. This kind of showed that it can be more than that. Uh, there were other, I believe there were other uh, instances of this in uh, other projects, but this was sort of the main, the main big one. So it's a, uh, yeah. It is a big part of uh, cinema history. It's one of the reasons why this movie is also uh, a silent movie. It's all just played with music and uh, animation. Just a way to, sh to demonstrate that concept. Uh, just showing this off, you can come out here. Uh, this location actually is a good spot to level grind as well. It's a very small area, enemies spawn here, so it's a good place to just, you know, quick level grind. Just go in and out of here with a uh, Mega Flare, which you get from the, the Rex and uh, or Ryu Dragon. Speaking of which, um, do, 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 do. I don't have one yet, but I can show off what it looks like. Ryu Dragon. Fought one in um, uh, the Musketeers world. During a what you call it, link portal. But all this music is classic opera. That was in Fantasia, opera, musicals, everything like that. Mine, mine still is the my, my favorite one. Still is uh, the Night of Bald Mountain. Because I love the Trinity Bog. Alright. Let's go! Green Dragons! Uh, crap. By the way, this is a Pegasus Lick. Uh, we'll find them here, actually. Oh, there's one right there! Alright, let's see here. Classical music. While I didn't, as a kid, appreciate uh, Fantasia for the classical music that I played, as an adult, or as I grew older as well, just in general, I grew to appreciate it more and more. I, <laughs> I'm a sucker for classical music. All right, just chest up there. Uh, my all-time favorite still is uh, Beethoven's La Sonata. It's the reason why any of my guide videos has it as its background music. I just, I, I love it. If I need to uh, edit out uh, the music here, I may actually include it 
as the background, just mute the, uh, uh, oops, wrong button. Just mute the, uh, gameplay and put it in. Because that's royalty free. This should be as well. But, uh, you never know with the mouse. <laughs> to be fair. Uh. No, no, I, I, I should be fine uploading. Um, I did get a little bit of scare with Disney when I uploaded a Kingdom Hearts 3 set. But, uh, I quickly fixed it. I'll explain that more when we get to it in Kingdom Hearts 3. But, uh, whew, gave me a bit of a heart attack. There's nothing quite like seeing a copyright claim saying, Disney says no. I'm like, okay! Did you like fuck off? What is hitting me? Come here. Come on. I gotta hold that. May have felt that. I got it. I did. to check out some classical music, check out, you know, pretty much any musical. As lame as it sounds, there are some really good ones. And if you actually go back and look at old uh, Warner Brothers cartoons, uh, like Bugs Bunny and shit like that, uh, you actually do get to see a lot of classical operas. The most famous one being the, uh, What's Opera Doc. But, uh, yeah. Whoa, hi! Here we go. But yeah, they, 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 they did straight up condense a full-on multi-hour opera into a few minutes. And it, 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 it's some of the best cartoons in the, from my childhood. Ow. And they do that often. Like, Tom and Jerry did it. Uh, like I said, Bugs Bunny. This Fantasia is the most uh, famous. It's all just fantastic. What's that? Oh, right. For you. Wrong button. I couldn't see anything. Watch it. There we go. Daylight. Fuck off. I think in this room is one of the uh, things I need. It's it, it called the Intrepid uh, Fantasy. Uh, they do appear in the shop during the Mughal uh, sale. But, there it is. But, um, I have to be later in the game to get to it. But if it appears, I can start. I can start mass producing some uh, really high level spirits. There we go. Yeah, sorry for talking over. I'll talk a lot more than I usually do. Cause I know I don't shut up sometimes. But <laughs> again, I'm worried. You don't fuck with the mouse. You'll break my legs, man. Now what we got here? I think I, I think I found a sound idea. 
so easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Uh. Why are you here? Yes. Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? Sora, I can tell you found us a sound idea. Well, I guess we should try and put it to work. Sound idea not enough? Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. to make even more powerful music. Yeah. Two forces are better than one. Right, Riku? Okay. Can I get in there to fight that thing now? Yes. But, but Sora... I'll be fine. See you in a jiff. Okay, what's that? What's double impact? Is that a, uh, this? Uh, press square during a sonic impact to perform a second charging attack that sends enemies flying. Square one there to form a charging attack that sends enemies flying. I don't know what that does. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Time to kick the Spelkin's butt. The square to slide and catch up to this. Okay. Now jump. I can. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, I kind of fucked up because I was trying to see if I could jump. <laughs> That's on me.
Oh shit. Oh come on, I jumped that. I wish I could heal. Got him. There we go. Balloon Raga. Balloon Raga. I think if I don't beat him before, uh, if I don't kick his ass too quickly, if I kick that, if I'm not quick enough, we'll have to do the uh, race thing again. Go back to Rainbow Road. Susie got stuck in there and decided not to teleport. Ooh! More drop bonuses. Nice! Sora. Don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> oh no! Huh? The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it. See you real soon, Sora. Yeah, you know it. So based off the established timeline, I believe this takes place before the uh, the Musketeers, because this is where re um, uh, Mickey learned about the uh, geez, 
about um uh keyblades and whatnot. So it basically is Timeless River, this, Symphony of Magic, Mouseketeers, and then uh Birth by S then um not Birth by Sleep. Because he was a king already. Then he became king, then Birth by Sleep. That's how I view the order of events. If that even matters. Who knows? Oh uh, boy. I'm going to have to rush. Hold on a second. Menu. Yeah, I, I got uh, that uh, Triceratops. Well, as Sora. Where is it? There it is. Alright, here we go. Let's do the dive. What are we doing? Three enemies, okay. That's not too difficult. I'm not sure way to use that. What? Yeah, I should have. Oh well. One right at the end. Here we go, rings open. Go to the bottom. Ow. Ow. Stop huddle locking. I most definitely didn't get the uh, thing here, I bet. Yay. Oh! Shit, I did. Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> A flood? Strange. It's coming from upstairs. So, just a heads up, since this is technically the last world before uh, the final world, there may be a lot of cutscenes coming up, so this set may be long. <laughs> Mickey! It's this musical score. It has him trapped. You won't be able to defeat that darkness with brute force. I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Who are you? Riku, if brute force won't work, tell me what will. Do you really mean you're gonna try and help me? Yes. Gosh, Riku, something tells me you and I are gonna be good friends and we'll help each other out a lot someday. Inside this music is a sound idea powerful enough to dispel the darkness. Can you find it? I'll try. Leave it to me. Now, Riku seems like the person who'd be able to, have, be able to find a good sound idea, you know? Sora? Yeah. Thank you. 
in Mickey's defense, it actually is a good idea. Problem is, he didn't think it through. He didn't have a sound idea. Oh, he had a sound idea, just not the, uh, uh, in just not the ability to, uh, think it through. Still in trip of it, Damn it. Alright, onwards. Alright, what was this one again? Right. See, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my damn just to get through this area quickly, because I know there's going to be a long-ass cutscene after this. In order to get these things to work, you have to get a majority. Oop. Although, technically, I could just skip all this by jumping over it. Or I should be able to, at least. Pardon me. Hop, hop. Keep going higher. Didn't get it. Last one. Ooh, that's pretty. I love the music. Ugh, so good. Classicals. Gotta love it. I think I spent a lot of time here my first time grinding out, uh, materials. That should've been it. Hello, Owl. Ah, uh, that's why I was attacking me as Sora. An Owl fully scanned me and just kept peppering me. get up there now. No! New dragons. Oh, here we are. That's a cool idea. Making musical notes as you run around. I can't feel like you can tell that they had a, uh, their own sound idea with how to animate this world. Is that something I can do? It is. <laughs> I love it. I know it sounds weird, but I'm, it sounds weird coming from me, especially if you know me and my tastes in music, um, that I love this type of shit, because I love, I love hard rock, so the fact that I'm also just a classical music nut is just like, Something doesn't seem right. But yeah, I I do. Like Metallica. Oh, so good. Master of Puppets. Mm. 
other music songs titles. You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade. Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade. Passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits. I love Chernabog. He is supposed to be, according to what I've read, the god of bad fate. I'm gonna get a little farther away. Oh, here comes the demons. Fuck off, Dementors! He's got to do it three times. He does just yeet you way far away. I still hope that um, in future Kingdom Hearts games, we have the Dark Secret Saga. I really want uh, us to meet like Keyblade users of darkness. Because we, we know there is a Keyblade of darkness. That's the one Mickey uses. So I would love to meet people from the Realm of Darkness that use Keyblades to fight the light. That would be kind of cool in my opinion. Damn it. That's different. That, that's just one of my own pet things. You know, I really wish that would be a thing. I love the idea of the duality. Like, we, we're currently seeing darkness at its worst, light at its best. Let's see the opposite. 
And honestly, Nobora seems seems the type who who would do that type of thing. Would you kindly fuck off? Like that's only three hits. Died from the, the fucking Dementor sucking me off. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die because these things are just, just gonna kill me. Oh, they can't! That's good to know. They can take me down to one, but they can't kill. That is really good to know. I've already finished it though, so. <laughs> Thank you, Riku. Say, can we try out that sound idea? That was amazing! What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. Sora can find the brightest part of anything and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow. No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. Gosh, I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will. Trust me. <laughs>
Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire, so I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both source and destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh, oh no. I remember, Xehanort did give up his body. It was a version of him that was possessing Riku. No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? If it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're going to reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too. Ah, fellas, you're my best pals. But this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart. And I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. Alrighty then. Is uh, anything else? Final world. Um, Alright, so... Before we go on to this... Uh, before I end the set, I'm going to mention this real quickly. Um... I'm going to do this in two parts. It's going to be um, us going through part of it, and then the second part is us going. It's going to be us uh, fighting the final boss. So there are two more sets left in the game. Keep that in mind. Um, but till then, I'm going to back here and I'm going to make me a dinosaur, a T-Rex. I hope you guys enjoyed the set, and I'll see you guys next time. But till then, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye!